What's going on, people? Yogizilla here with take two of my Armada Online review. And uh, I had some technical issues with the previous one. And uh, I figured I'd just start off fresh. I got out a little tangent about how Google's pissing off a lot of people on YouTube. Hence why I'm not doing too much YouTube videos, especially now. Uh, I kind of started writing on the wall. But anyway, I'm not going to get into that. I won't. I won't. This is about Armada Online. One of the many, many, many... Uh, indie games out there. And I'm starting off fresh, so you guys can see the process. I'm creating my my, my namesake here, Yogizilla. I'm gonna be a black guy because they don't have a bald guy. That's probably the closest thing to represent me. Um, <laughs> lots of factions in this game, and you'll notice that it's kind of separated by kind of good guys, bad guys, right? You know. Um, so on the good guy side, you got Terran, Vorgan, and Draken. On the, you know, so-called bad guy side, you have Nomad, Eldred, and Scarab. Uh, and let's see. So Terran's basically the most balanced one. You know, typically humans, you know, Terran's, it's pretty standard, you know, sci-fi trope. Yeah, they're the most balanced one. They're the one you want to start off with. Uh, here it says you got they got powerful shields, precision miss missiles, and uh, particle beams. And they're fun to watch. Pew pew. Really fun stuff. Vorgan, a little more of a support uh, class or race, whatever way you want to say it. They can immobilize threats, uh, use protective fields to help others. So that's cool. Good to have them in a the party or in your armada or fleet, whichever way you want to say it. And dragon ships uh, synthesize materials to repair hull damage and generate masses of armor-piercing projectiles. I might try these guys out. Uh, and then you have Nomad, which uh, overwhelm enemies with massive disgorgements of power. Or firepower, rather. Eldred, Eldred ships use traps and teleportation, you know, general trickery to surprise their enemies. Sounds fun. The Scarab ships are stealthy, deceptive, and capable of controlling those who threaten them. So, um, I want to say that this is a remake of a Dreamcast game, but they've increased, they've uh, widened the scale to more of an MMO setting. Um, and even though it is based on, of, on Armada on the Dreamcast, I think it was also on the GameCube. I think I had it for both, or have it both, somewhere. It's hidden somewhere in my massive game collection. Uh, Mark and Roger, the uh, guys behind this game, they say that the, their inspirations for the game go far beyond Armada. Um, there's some elements of MOBA in here, so if you like League of Legends, Dota, Smite, any of that stuff, you're going to see some of those elements here. And there's elements of, of space sims that are out there. Um, for me, if you've played Starpoint Gemini or any of the Wing Commander games, Particularly, particularly, I would say, Wing Commander Privateer, maybe? You'll see the resemblance uh, to those games, but with a 2D overhead view type of thing going on. Alright? So anyway, let me just go ahead and create a new guy. I think I like... Ooh, oh, he's had different options for the different races. Alright. Hey, there's a bald guy! That'll be me. That's a striking likeness right there. Not bad. Before I do jump into the rest of this review, I do want to re invite everybody to join us on the Horseplay Podcast live Thursdays at 11 p.m. Eastern. Time is subject to change, but you can always find us at the Obi-1X2 Twitch channel or my channel, Yogizilla. And that's where I spend more, most of my time, oh, as well as my own website. I feel like you have more ownership over your content over there. And Google's getting a little bit punch drunk with power. Sorry, Google. I love you, but you're messing up. But anyway, before, also before I jump, you know, to kind of dive into this gameplay and, and review the finer points <clears throat> of this game, maybe share some tips and tricks. I do want to say that I, that I feel that indie games are the saving grace of the industry because uh, there's just not that much innovation out there and 
it's nice to have fresh concepts. Not just for, you know, there are indie games that try to be different just for the sake of being different. And then there's indie games that are, like, actually fun. And make, maybe try new things or take old ideas and really build upon them. You know, and they take risks that it makes sense. You see, I haven't been, I haven't played too much on this uh, alpha build of Armada Online. And this is on Steam Greenlight, so be sure to support it and vote yes on it. I'm a, I have a level 3, my crack fiend, and now I'm at fresh level 1. Let's jump in, let's jump in. I know. I'm spending so much time on the screen. Little opening cinematics. We began life bound to a single planet. Our ancestors freed us to roam the stars. My voice is not epic enough, I guess. Now the alien armada seeks to imprison us once again. Is that epic? They would deprive us of our basic right to travel, to evolve. Returning to Earth is the path to extinction. We must surge outward and populate the universe. The journey to space is the quest for life everlasting. And here we are. I feel that's about all the exposition. Yep, there we go. Those big uh, crab-like dudes are uh, a real pain in the butt. So, when I first tried this out, if you guys are familiar with the original game, you'll notice that this is point and click. I asked the developers about this, and they said that it's a deliberate thing. They do, they do this for the sake of um, decreasing the server lag, making the game sync up better. So when, it, when there are, when there, you know, in the future, when there are lots of players on here, you're not going to see... Lots of lag and weird stuff going on. Because most MMOs are not truly real-time. So this is. Because you're not overloading the server with all this, you know, crazy data. Constant moving around. So it's point and click, much like uh, Warcraft 3, one of my favorite games of all time. Or any RTS, really. You'll notice uh, star, star bases and other buildings usually have options. You can buy them with these... Um, Influence points and uh, regional influence depends on how your your fellows in the region are doing and how well you perform in that region based on missions and you know, frags and all kinds of different objectives. Um, every sector in the game has different missions, but we'll get to that in a second. But you buy the you buy stuff with the uh, influence that you amass. It those upgrades are only available for that particular um, instance, that sector. All right. I don't really like any of these that you start off with. <laughs> now, mind you, I love this game. I'm really excited about this project. I'm more excited about this game than anything else. Because I think everything else that's out right now is crap. And I've been searching for, like, just good space simulators that are fun. You know, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of stuff out there. It's a shame. So this definitely fills a void. And mind you, I've played games like Starpoint Gemini, which I think is a beautiful game. But sometimes I just want something a little more simple and a little more focused on multiplayer. And I, and I think this fits the bill. If you really think about it, there isn't much out there in terms of like a space simulator with more action focused and um, online gameplay, you know, co op and whatnot. Let me show you the, the kit here. Again, if you're familiar with MMOs, you're going to know. What all this is, but this is your your shortcut bar. If you right click on stuff, you auto cast when you're in range, as my guy is doing right now. I got my basic shot. Your, your number one is usually your your main weapon. I do like an auto damage right now. Yeah, and then I got the needler fire two shot to deal two damage target. Ugh, two armor pierce. So that's just piercing. I'm pretty weak. You, you're you're gonna be very weak when you start out, just so you know that. This if you like grinding, you'll appreciate that aspect. That's one of my least favorite parts about the game. But, you know, every game has its opportunity, so I'm not, I'm not knocking it. I can repair myself. I can summon a level one scout. Sweet. Is that my scout? Hey. 
Cool. How many of those can I summon? Oh, one at a time. Okay. In this main area... Oh, yeah, and, uh, you know, this little bar he got down here, you know, the numbers represent, you know, correspond to the num keys, number pad. So, I just wanted to mention that. But anyway, let's go fly about. This main area, you mainly just, you know, shooting stuff and having fun, getting used to the mechanics of the game they really ease you into it but at the same time they don't hold your hand you don't really have much direction you just kind of explore and that's what i like about it you know it's it's just exploration it's a very it's a very sandbox like game it gives it a much greater feeling of of, of scale you know you'll notice on the mini map there's a lot of explosions it's showing that it's battles which is awesome these yellow blips here are buildings so i'm gonna go down i don't think i could click here oh yeah i could, could, could click on the mini map i'm still getting used to the nuances myself so the ambassador has much better upgrades the security for his shield plus 200 damage reflect 10 percent awesome and by the way it might be worth playing the original armada whether you emulate it or you get it on dreamcast or gamecube Whatever other console might be on, um, it's worth checking it out because you'll appreciate more what the, some the vision of this game. That is a very fun shmup with RPG elements. But again, here they, there's a lot more um, exploration, which is really cool. You can see I don't do much damage. This guy's just knocking me back. It's very frustrating because in the beginning you don't have much damage dealing potential at all. And you can see my hole is already taking damage. Well, that's his hole. My bad. I was clicking on him. I was like, wait a minute. My hole's fine. See on the upper left, that blue bar is the shield. Gray is the hole. Well, armor, then hole. It'll turn yellow when it's hole. Or something like that. I should think it's just changing color based on how critical the damage is. And a yellow bar is my energy. Um, and abilities use energy. And then energy replenishes. Much like mana in uh, most games. So I'm just going to go around here. Let's just go to this crystal. If you like farming. I'm, let me tell you. There's something for everybody in this game. If you like farming. You got a lot too. Resource collection. Look. I could uh, beam up on this thing. I'm mining right now, just like in Starbound. <laughs> Little chunks fly off, and then I pick them up. And there's abilities you can get to be able to have longer range on your... Be able to pick up stuff. Power-ups and whatnot, drops. This is a really fun game. Now, for the for the snobs out there that need to have really uh, sexy graphics, uh, if you get past that, this game is fantastic. It does to me; it's beautiful. I don't need really insane graphics, you know, to make a game good. I think, but at this point, people have already hit the limit of how beautiful games can look. The only thing we could do now is make games deeper, give them a wider scope. And I don't keep saying wider scope, but it's true. You know, we could change the scale of the games, how much, you know, how much, how many things are going on at once, how many things we see at once, but as far as, like, graphics, there's not much more we could do. So now it's more about being creative, and I hope that's where the industry goes back to. They're definitely doing the right things with this game. Um, another key thing to know, let me just go through some of the main hotkeys. M, missions. And the missions, m many of them are sector-related. So I need to escort refugees refugees back to the star base. I need one more. So that's cool. I should probably finish that mission. I is for your inventory. It's all uh, put into columns for you. You can convert stuff, sell stuff. I don't have anything right now. I'm trying to remember what else there is. F is for your friend friends list, and it does carry over between uh, your. Uh, different uh, characters which I didn't know until now S shows you your ship 
This is where it feels very much like an RPG. You get your different stats. Which I think is awesome. You can hire crew members and it allows you to build new upgrades for your ship and perform more optimally. Uh, star map, I don't remember what the hotkey is for that. I'm being lazy. But there's a lot of places you can go to and each sector has a different kind of feel to a different uh, core mechanics, if you will. Well, just different mechanics, but the, you know, the core mechanics pretty much remain the same. Right click to move around. And um, right click down here to set auto cast. Uh, left click you use very sparingly. You may need to select things and look at their stats. Um, like this building right here. I think this one gives some pretty good stuff. Pretty good things. Yeah, attack rate. Oh, uh, yeah, that's good. Some of these items, you, you're going to carry so five different powers at a time. And some of them are upgradable in different buildings, so if you find the right building, you'll be able to scoop up some cool stuff. Some cool fang fangs, yo. And I got a little scout flying with me. I like this class. And I get to be bald and ugly. That's cool with me. Why do the bald, bald guys have to be ugly, though? And I don't know. Feels a little bit like discrimination. Ooh, plus two armor field. Neat. That's an aura. We'll get more damage. Hello. So now I should see that my stats are up, uh, updated. Yeah, yeah, they are. So now I'm at my max of items. I'm going to try to do more gameplays, particularly on Twitch. As I get deeper into the game, I can share more of the... The depth of the game. I know that's redundant, isn't it? <laughs> but do not let this game deceive you. It's not just floating around aimlessly. There are objectives. Oh, here we go. It's about to get hot and heavy. Oh, I'm doing some damage now. Yeah, try to run away. And I love the power-ups because it gives it more of an uh, arcade feel. Domination. I need my nine more kills to get... Uh, that mission done and i'll get tons of influence let's try to finish the rescue mission i need to i need to get them over to the get the refugees over safely to the star base and usually you can just hover around do that hey look at these guys you can right click on other ships to follow them And it's cool because even though a lot of people have not heard about this game, there are some issues with this. I'm going to give you a heads up. You could download the, Ar the alpha build of this for free at armada-online. That's dash online. Armada-online.com. Just Google it if you, if you can't find it. When you install it, it's a small game. It'll run just about any computer. But be sure to uh, right-click run as administrator if you're on windows or it will crash and I, I bet you a lot of people have really wanted to play this just based on the steam green light uh screenshots and video but when they try to launch it it uh it just said nope yeah i just did an upgrade to my guerrilla tactics and now i got uh upgraded a wanderer speed plus 15 percent attack rate plus eight evasion plus 10 percent armor pierce plus 10 awesome i might be able to do some damage now so that's a heads up. Make sure you run the game as administrator or it will likely crash. I had that issue and then I just said, oh, you know, maybe I should just go back to my IT days. My days as a coder. You know, I don't do as much now. I, mean, I am getting back into my roots, though. Because uh, the marketing thing, it's a crowded market. Everybody nowadays is an online marketer or social media professional. It's, okay, shut up there, buddy. But, uh... Yeah, I did IT for a long time, and sometimes the most basic things always always work, like restarting the computer, reinstalling, or in the case of Windows, uh, in particular, running at, running things as administrator. It's kind of like on on, on uh, Linux, you know, run things as root, which you probably shouldn't do frivolously, but <laughs> sometimes that's what you got to do on Windows because apps need uh, full access. Sometimes it's lazy programming. So you can't blame Microsoft all the time. But anyway. 
Uh, let's see what else we can do here. I'm trying to just finish some of the... Ooh, these Claw Lords hurt. I want to finish some of these missions so I can get some influence. See, I'm getting more into the gameplay than the review aspect. <laughs> now, I'm going to be honest. This is a game that you really have to experience yourself. Just watching video or gameplay footage, whatever you want to say, or screenshots, whatever, uh, you know, this, this is not going to do it justice, in my opinion. You have to experience, this is a game you have to experience. And it's also best when you share it with other people, when you play with friends. I mean, it's free. You can get the alpha build right now for free and play with your friends. So, go for it. And be, you know, feel free to connect with me, Yogizilla. I, I'm, I'm Yogizilla pretty much everywhere. On, on Steam, Raptor, Xbox Live... Uh, Twitter, Twitter's definitely very good to find me, connect with me. I'm all over the interwebs. Oh, I actually get this uh, domination thing. I yeah, definitely give it a, a download. Tell your friends about this. Uh, this uh, this is an indie game that has to come out. It's so good that I don't like. I usually avoid MMOs, and I feel compelled. Ooh, that's a cool missile. I feel compelled to play this because it's that awesome. I want that I want that Sentinels missiles. Oh gosh. Run! 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 Well not run. Fly! Fly away! <laughs> I don't know if I should go back there. I don't want that guy to die. Did he get him? Oh he got him. Yikes. Uh, where is... Let me show you where the experience is. The experience is a little segmented bar down here. Lower left-hand corner. And you, know, you got your... And you can also click on stuff. Ship, items, cargo. Pretty much the hotkeys correspond to the first letter of each word. I got skills. Exchanging exotic goods with dragon traders. Salvage and enchant. En en enhance! Woohoo! Reading for the win. Builder complete. Builder completed. Huh? Huh? What just happened? So, yeah, the, uh, the skills are. Um, they relate to. They correlate to your uh, actual. Crew members. There we go. Brain fart for a win. What? -da. Let me go heal up over here. Hey, they're attacking the star base. Much like in a MOBA, defending these buildings is key. If they get damaged, bad things happen. I haven't gotten to that point yet. But in, in every sector, yeah, there's different scenarios you'll be dropped into. Ooh, I can upgrade my security force. Oh, nice. It's a level 9 effect upgrade. So when it says that stuff, basically it means that you, it's the quality of a level whatever it is. You Not, not that you necessarily have to be that level to use it. So right now, I'm kind of twinking, if that's a proper term. I'm a level 1 that's rocking some level 9 stuff. The sentry is really useful. You can just drop them down. You can tank some damage for you. And then... Oh, they're evading. Oh, oh, whoa. Watch out there, buddy. When did they get here? Oh, I'm doing some damage now. Five more kills, baby. And drop my sentinel right there. Help me. Ooh, did they kill my scout? Oh, I think he killed my scout. Rescue completed. Sweet. I'm actually getting a lot of missions done. Whoa, look at that fleet. 
the the addition of NPCs in this game really makes it really good call. It makes it feel like a real bustling um, world. The original game had lots of NPCs too, and I believe Mark and Roger are just fans bringing back a game that they they want to play themselves. That's the true indie spirit, is making games that you yourself would like to play. Not just stuff that you want to monitor. Oh, God, I'm dead. That's the first time I died in this game. That's what I get for talking. Wow, I got a lot of influence. Look at that. 'Fortunately there's not a major penalty for dying other than having to wait. That I've seen. I don't know if it dinged my influence or I obviously did not lose any of my items or powers, so Cool beans. Come on, my scout. Let's get back into the get back in the saddle. We're going the wrong way. You should follow these ships over here. They're clearly going towards the battle. Go, go. My scout is faster than I am. Now I'm almost 30 minutes in with this uh, review slash gameplay. And I have not even scraped the surface. A lot of this you really have to experience yourself. And there's so many sectors I can't possibly show you all of them. Um, so I'm just trying to finish up this area. To get a feel for you know how the game plays. Hey, there we go, victory! Who's uh All right. Now, the only thing I haven't figured out is how to see where you currently are at. I am close to, to a dinging, too. That's pretty cool. Ah, I turned off my autocast there. This upgrader, I can't use it until I level 10. Hey, look! We have a friend joining us. Hemp. <laughs> funny, fun story. Hemp is the hip. Hemp and his brother Blazer are the first people that I've encountered in this game. Um, I've been tracking this game for a while. I just recently started really playing it. <laughs> oh man, I have a feeling we're going to spend a, quite a little bit of time playing this game now. I was just planning to record this video and then play some other games. <laughs> Maybe not. But that's okay, this is a fun game. Let me show you guys uh, some of the other sectors. Now the colors... I believe correlate to the difficulty and I say that with pretty big confidence because I know I've avoided the red sectors and my friends have as well and the yellow sectors now look at the missions there are things you could do in different places like uh, neutral zone, which is... Which place is that? Uh, I don't remember now. Where is the neutral zone? I guess the, the United Systems might be considered the neutral zone. Uh, that that has a base of... Uh, a mission of removing enemy star bases from neutral zone. I don't think I've tried that one yet. Haven is where I just was. It says assist in the rescue effort. Provide support to new captains. And the new captains are new players who join in the game. The burn, the mission there, main, main objectives are take command of support ships and stations, establish a defensive perimeter. And reward. Reward for that is disrupt enemy command and control, contain evolving alien threat, expand friendly territory. Or you get rewards for those things. Hope that makes sense. I'm terrible at this review thing. I'm sorry. Let's just go into the burn. I'm going to try to wrap this up. I don't want to make this video too long. 
I do urge everybody to check this out. Download the game. It's free. You know. And it's fun. Let's see. What does it say? The burn offers a risky solution to big problem that we eventually deal with. So my staff runs experiments here. Okay. Okay. I can't buy anything yet. Usually can't buy anything from an asteroid either. <laughs> uh, yeah, guerrilla tactics usually a, a surefire thing to get. Mass driver is what they recommend I get. Or Baron. Ooh, armor pierce. Yes, please. Oh, yeah, I can get the mass driver. Why not? Oh, I need gun runner. Oh, I don't have enough for it. Crap. All right, so now I have to earn influence. So I get this mass driver. Let's see if I could uh, hang with these guys. As you can see, I lost my uh, my upgrades from the previous section, previous sector. Uh, it's gonna be a bit of a grind. You see, I'm only getting like ten or five influence. Haven, for being a beginning sector, does offer quite a bit of experience and goodies. I think it's my first time in this area. I like it so far. I believe you also get more of a reward if you finish off the enemy. Now keep an eye out. Yeah, it does look like that. Like that. Keep an eye out for uh, abilities or powers that have actives. You have to. Actually, click on them and use them. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of passive abilities and stuff, too, as you see. Whoa, we're getting freaking bombarded. This is insane. I should hit 700, no, t no problem here. Mass driver? Woo! Is that what I get? That super freaking shot? My scout is just uh, flying away, doing his own thing. So there's a rare material here, apparently. A black egg. I wonder what that does for me. I have not messed around with the crafting enough to tell you much about it, and I think that's a lot of the crafting things that are in here in this alpha build are placeholders. And I know the developers are very excited to have this greenlit so they could really release a more polished product and have it distributed and playable on Steam. So again, make sure you go on Steam Greenlight and uh, vote for it. Armada Online is... It's a very promising game. I'm super excited about it. I can't say that enough. Alright, I'm going to the edge of this sector. Yeah, I'm this little flashing kind of thing here. I put about maybe three or four hours into the game just because... Not because I don't really enjoy it, it's just because I have so many games in my backlog, so many things I want to stream, record videos for. Um, and then, of course, friends uh, draw me into other things and don't even get me started on the Steam Holiday Sale and Humble Bundle and how I, <laughs> there's so many impulse buys there. But this is one of those games that I know will always be a fallback and a mainstay, much like League of Legends is for me or even Warcraft 3, which I think is still fun. It's been like, what, over a decade later? 
Replay value. It's all about it's all about the replay value. And quite frankly, I don't see how anyone can get bored of this game. Unless they're like a gaming elitist. Like, oh, it needs to have a high polygon count for it to be good. This doesn't push my system enough. There's not enough uh, Mega Flops going on. Oh, boy. I might be out of my league here. These Maulers hurt. So you probably want to avoid confronting them at close range. Alright. Uh, big part of this game is knowing when to back off and attack from far away. Some ships offer good... Uh, oh, crap. You guys are on your own. Oh, shipyard. Does it, that doesn't heal me. Oh, crap. Yeah, some ships have good range. Uh, mine is not one of them. The Terrans seem to have quite a decent range. Holy crap. You see the, all those green blips on the radar? Wow, I was in the wrong part of town. Uh, there's a star base over here, isn't there? The shipyard. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm gonna die here. There we go. Start start base. I completely lost my way. I'm I'm on fire. That's terrible. Well, now I have enough money to get what I wanted to get. <laughs> and I think I'm just going to play long enough to show you how much better this is as an upgrade. Ooh, heavy weapons. Ho! Oh. oh, man. Does that make me more... Holy crap, let's see. Damage plus 14 is increasing my attack rate. Alright. So it's, I, I love the things that you could... That have tiered builds. That's a very mobile element. I truly like that. Armor Pierce plus 20. Hey. Vivisector, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Let's do it. Let's see if I do more damage. Much like a MOBA, a lot of the things that you get in this game are very slight edge. You're not going to see massive improvements. Until you reach certain levels. But it'll give you know you'll have a lot more survivability, a lot a lot higher sustain if you have the proper kit. And uh, making sure you're just staying in the right difficulty rings, you know. You don't want to go too far, stray off alone into a huge mob. Oh. They're invading down Starbase. Let's go help them out. Though it's more like they'll be helping me out. So what else can I tell you about this game? Uh, now, let me see. I, if I have to compare it to other games, uh, anyone has ever played Ark on uh, Total Entertainment Network back in the days, or on Sierra or Juan, or the Pony Network. Anyone has played Silent Death online back in the days, or Infantry maybe. There's some striking resemblances uh st striking similar similarities there that's the that's the word i was looking for Ooh, did my scout die i don't know i'm gonna summon another one it's getting a little intense here there are little status things here that you gotta get used to and i'm gonna take i'm taking three damage per second now again very mmo a lot of these conventions are should be familiar to anyone that plays any MMO. Some have complained that, uh, ooh, I better get out of there. That the resolution kind of sucks. Um, I'm sure they might do resample the models in the game, the sprites and all that stuff. I, I think everything is rendered, so they might, you know, rebuild them so they scale properly. And I think this stuff is pre-rendered. A lot of this stuff is pre-rendered. Not 100% sure. It, it doesn't look like it's actually rendered, though, because it's 
you can see the perspective on it. I don't even know what I'm talking about. It is actually 3D rendered. But I don't know if there's a conversation from the developers talking about how they, the reason they don't have higher res is because it doesn't. It makes the game look bad and it wastes real team and performance. Uh, basically, you can only see so far as shoot so far, and there is fog of war. So having an extended view, the only thing that does for you is have uh, I don't know, the comfort of having more screen realty taken up. You know, to me, it kind of matters. Like if I play a game in a small window. Right now, this you know, I have a big, large monitor and a high resolution, and this is taking uh, like about a, a third or a fourth of my screen, <laughs> and it still feels kind of small to me, even with the big screen. Um, but again, that's just me being a picky gamer and nitpicking if I have to. But I, you know, it doesn't take. I don't think it detracts from the game. I think it looks beautiful for what it is. It's, it's amazing. And, you know, sometimes less it really is more. I think we've been spoiled as gamers. Everything needs to be top-notch, bleeding-edge technology. Bleeding edge technology. I can't speak tonight. I haven't, I haven't even been drinking. I am quite caffeinated, though, so maybe that's it. I'm a little bit too hyped up. Um, but, yeah, I, do, I should close this video soon. It's just so much fun to just explore. Best thing I could tell you is to make sure you do join us on the Hoist Play podcast. Whether you can make it for our live chat on Twitch on the Obi One X Two channel on the ninth, and to keep this uh, evergreen, so to speak, that's on uh, two, the year two thousand fourteen, not two thousand thirteen. Getting used to that. We are in a new year, but you can join us anytime. But we do plan to have developers guest in at least one episode and that should be episode five so whether you watch it live or the recording be sure to check us out and i'll also have some highlights on my twitch channel and hopefully on youtube too like i have been doing that's ob1 x2 and uh and that's one the, the word not the number or me yogizilla on youtube and twitch check us out and be sure to join our steam community group uh, that's uh, the horseplay. Horseplay Steam community groups. Very easy. Horseplay, one word. Yeah, and then we'll. Uh, we plan to do more coverage of this game, do some community play dates, um, some multicast streaming, or simulcast, whatever we want to call it. We're all. Me, Obi, and Soldierism will uh, play the game simultaneously. The community play days will definitely be awesome. And get some large parties going. Holy crap, I need to get out of here. Uh, run! I mean, fly! <laughs> and some of you might be looking at this and going, what, Why is he enjoying this so much? It looks pretty boring. It is fun. Oh, whoa, no! No, I'm gonna die! No! Oh, gosh. Those revenants are super powerful. Do not take them head on. Woo! Wow, that was crazy. Oh, that's what that does. Summon mass driver. It is a summon item. I wish it didn't mean my weapon's powerful. Oh gosh, I should have put them over here. Cause look, they're they're destroying the base. No, run! No, 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 no! Get out of there! Oh man! Oh man! All right. The right side is clear. This game does get really intense. I don't care what anyone says. It's fun. Don't judge me. You really have to try it to to understand how much fun it can be. And the simplicity in the presentation and the core mechanics, I think, lends to deeper gameplay. It lets you focus more on the strategy of it, the teamwork aspects, the objectives, you know. Once you get used to the UI, different shortcuts, you know, how the game plays. Again, the, again, the core mechanics, a little nuance. Oh, gosh, I'm going to die. 
you'll appreciate this game a lot more and have fun with it. And they do have a lot of stuff planned for this, so give it a little bit of time, trust me. Oh gosh, they're gonna destroy the outpost. No! Well, we are getting invaded, guys. This is crazy. I have never seen such a massive group. This is where it becomes more of a, um, of a MOBA or tower defense type thing. Holy, what the crap? Oh my gosh, Smash Driver. We need some buffer here. Oh, I should pick off the little ones. Wow, they dispatched that very quickly. That mass driver did not come in handy at all. Oh, man. I still don't do much damage. And this Revenant has stealth. I do not have the tech, so... He's roaming around freely. Oh, man. Gosh. This is crazy. Well, I'm glad I didn't end the gameplay video, because uh, now you get to see these intense and epic moments in the game where they just throw all kinds of stuff at you. You know, it's very randomized. So if, like, if you guys are into, like, roguelikes, where, like, all of a sudden you're just, the odds are stacked up against you, and every every playthrough is fresh. That's pretty much what you can expect here. Oh wow, he destroyed me! No way. And that ruined my survival. I guess that's the, my cue to end it there. Oh man, that's crazy. I mean, uh, nothing's really permanent in this because it is an MMO. So if things get destroyed, you go is warp to another sector and come back, and uh, everything will be back to normal. <laughs> But, uh, you know, that's the way MMO instances are. But it's still, you know, it's still pretty intense when you see all these people attacking the base and it's like, oh, no, no, no stop. I, I, I was having quite fun, quite a bit of fun with that. Am I still? I can't upgrade anything. Oh, what can upgrade? Oh, oh. I did not know I had one point. Yeah, I'd rather have my beat my Oh, whoa, what is that? The Queen. Oh gosh, I remember these in the Dreamcast game. Yeah, I think it's a good thing I upgraded my little beam. Okay, I gotta take out these sappers. If I recall correctly, these things take away your energy. Oh boy. Okay, uh, get back to the star base. Get back to the star base. Okay, so I'm not ending the stream yet. Because that is another intense battle. No, run, 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 run away! Oh man. They are attacking me. I need to get that my shields to charge up. Oh god, I'm gonna die. No, run! I get stunned. I get stunned. They're like. The stasis field or something on me. E. This is the craziest I've ever seen. I already had the mass driver. Why did I upgrade it again? Oh, it got me. Okay, I'm done. I obviously need to do this sector with some friends. Look at it. This is. Oh man, I can't even click on anything. But I think that star base is about to go poop. <laughs> let me this is insane uh let me uh log out of here uh close my ah, nah. you guys can just watch this insanity unfold <laughs> while I do my little closing bit so once again make sure you jo okay let me get out of here ah oh that's the only way I gotta go yeah all tabbing. That's how, that's how you know I'm going crazy. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm back. We're dead. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. You guys just saw some of my videos that back there that I have queued up. You're welcome. That's a little preview. I'm not even going to bother editing. 
I want to get this out there. I really want to share this game with as, with as many people as possible. Tell your friends. Armada Online in alpha build. Beta should be released soon. They said it, Mark and Roger said as soon as they get this uh, voted up on Steam Greenlight. And it's green lit. So, poor base is going to die. Yeah, defeat. Sorry. That sucks. Wow, that's crazy. What you just saw there was uh, a taste of a basically uh, the tower defense MOBA kind of scenarios. Brutal. Uh, do not do not go there alone. Party up. I am a uh, LFG. I'm looking for a group, so make sure you connect with me on Steam and uh, Twitter, Yogizilla, and also Twitch. Yogizilla. I'm pretty consistent. You can find me every, everywhere. Also check out my blog, yomor.me. I have some giveaways going for the for throughout the year. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to span span them out. Uh, yomor.me. Check out my Risk of Rain uh, review, and there's some giveaway details there, and some other details on, on how we can connect. Risk of Rain and Armada Online are two of my favorite games for 2013 and 2014, respectively. Uh, did I say that in the right order? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're, they're both games that have super high replay value. So, if you want something that's a good investment on your time and you feel like you're going to get back what you put in, those are two games I recommend. And they're both indie games, so yeah, there's a trend there. But I, just, I don't just like indie games because they're indie games. I like them when they're fun, and this is definitely fun. But anyway, before I go off on one of my famous rants, this has been my uh, sort of uh, Armada Online uh, review. <laughs> but mainly uh, me just playing the game and really sucking at it. <laughs> definitely check it out. Again, that website is Armada online.com I'm going to try to annotate the video, but again, I'm just going to try to get this out raw and uncut so you guys can really just see the game in action and, and, and judge for yourself. But definitely spread the word. And I, I hope you join us on the Horseplay Live podcast on Thursdays, 11 p.m. Eastern. And um, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, and I do apologize. I just thought about this. You may not have a good view of the lower portion of the screen because of all the overlays I have. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> 50 minutes in or so, and I just noticed that, but anyway, I hope you appreciate, uh, what I've tried to do here, and if you like this, uh, give this a thumbs up, subscribe, tell your friends again, leave a comment if you have any questions, and maybe I'll do more videos addressing some of the uh, concerns and questions about the game, and don't forget, make sure you start the game as an admin, right click, start as admin, or it may not start at all. Armada, Armada-Online.com. Download it for free, the alpha build. And that's it. This is Yogizilla. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. That wasn't excited enough. How about... Peace. That sounds terrible. I need, I need a better outro. I'm out of here, guys. Take it easy.